Lindo Sisulu harbors hopes of replacing Cyril Ramaphosa as the ANC leader. But, according to her political opponents, the tourism minister will be lucky to keep herself out of jail before the upcoming elective conference. Quite simply, Lindo Sisulu is accused of abandoning her parliamentary duties. She has failed to attend a number of key sessions recently. However, things went up a notch this week, when she directly ignored a legal request to show up for a tourism portfolio committee. For the last four weeks, the portfolio committee has been requesting that Minister Sisulu attends its meetings. Each time, she has been a no-show, and has failed to explain her whereabouts, or even apologize. Last week, the portfolio committee resolved that it would summon Lindu Sisulu to appear. However, she has defied this order, instead sending a senior legal counsel in her place. The DA now believes she has committed a criminal offense by ignoring the directive to appear, could Lindu Sisulu be sent to jail? A failure to respond to a parliamentary summons can be punishable by a hefty fine, or even worse, a maximum of 12 months behind bars. You may recall that Jacob Zuma was incarcerated when he failed to comply with the summons issued by the Zondo Commission. Again, Lindo Sisulu is accused of a criminal act that could land her in jail. In today's episode of Ministers Behaving Badly, Lindo Sisulu is constantly being told that she is going to jail soon. Lindo Sisulu wants to take Cyril Ramaphosa's place as leader of the ANC, but her political opponents say that the Minister of Tourism will be lucky to stay out of jail until the next elective conference. Breaking the law is claimed against the Minister of Tourism. Lindo Sisulu is accused of not doing her job as a member of parliament, she has missed a number of important events recently. But things got worse this week when she ignored a court order to show up at a tourism portfolio committee, meaning the portfolio committee has asked Minister Sisulu to come to its meetings for the last four weeks. Each time, she didn't show up, and she never said where she was or apologized. Last week, the portfolio committee decided that Lindo Sisulu would be asked to come to a meeting. She has, however, ignored this order and sent a senior legal counsel instead. The DA now thinks that she has done something criminal, by ignoring the order to show up. Lindo Sisulu John Block Jail Lindo Sisulu has been accused of breaking the law by ignoring a summons from parliament. If you don't answer a parliamentary summons, you could get a big fine or, even worse, spend up to 12 months in jail. You may remember that Jacob Zuma was locked up because he didn't show up when the Zondo Commission asked him to. Manny de Freitas, who is the DA's shadow minister of tourism, has asked parliament to make Lindo Sisulu fully accountable. This has never happened before, and Sisulu's failure to show up to the committee meeting is a crime. Section 55 of the Constitution says that the state's executive bodies must answer to Parliament and its portfolio committees. Because the minister didn't show up to meet with the committee, and because the committee wanted to try everything it could, it decided to send an official letter to the Speaker of Parliament about this. The letter will ask the speaker to hold the minister accountable for not answering the summons and going to the portfolio committee meeting, which is also a crime that could get her a fine or even a year in jail.